I will never financially recover if I screw up this restoration. I found a Kent Coffee dresser set the other day at the thrift store for $280 out the door. These things retail for over $2,000 a piece, so that's looking like a big fat mortgage payment for me. Super nervous to work on the veneer on this piece because it's from the 60s. It's a little dry. I don't think she's ever had any moisturizer on her, but I need to get this veneer back on before I can sand it and refinish this piece. So what I'm going to do first is obviously I'm going to remove this hardware and then I can get to work. I was literally frantic when I found these dressers in the thrift store, like you would not believe. I couldn't even film, I couldn't even speak, I went straight to the register. I bought them each separately because I didn't even know they were both there. So it was like a whole thing, like this is my Roman Empire of mid-century furniture and I can never afford to pay $4,000 for a pair of dressers. So this is lovely, I might keep it, but I'm probably going to sell it, so stay tuned for that. So first I am going to put glue into a syringe. I had these around the house. I use them for my dog's medical care. This way I can get really deep into the veneer surface without disturbing the veneer. Like I said, it's pretty dry. I'm going to go over it with the beeswax after I'm done. But really I'm just not there yet. So first I need to get everything secure, get everything ready for sanding because if I put beeswax on it now, it's just gonna gum up my sander and I still have to strip this thing. And as always, I'm trying to film the best angles for you. My video skills could be improved, but you know, here I am and I'm doing this on my own and I'm just swinging it. So hopefully you like it. And if you caught that, I removed the syringe tip and I'm going in with a heavier application of glue at the top because the veneer was separating so like thickly and I needed to just like get more product in there. Obviously it's going to be more messy and I'm going to have to do a lot more cleanup, but you know, $4,000 is life changing money for so many people. And if you can find something like this at a local thrift store or find a good price on Facebook marketplace, like you should be empowered to flip that furniture, restore it with basic simple tools that you can also get at the thrift store. Like mostly what you need for this is a paint scraper, some chemicals, a syringe, and a sander. And that's kind of it, like with some tongue oil and you're good to go. Like this is such like a high return on investment if you just take the time to do it. To be completely transparent, I have never worked on a piece of furniture that is this expensive before or this like fragile. So this is going to be a first for me. And if you were here for my decking project, you know I have all the Delulu and I can do this. So just trust the process. We're going to take it slow. We're going to be gentle with this material because it is veneer. I think sometimes like I want to rush through things and like get things done and get things out the door or in my bedroom maybe, we'll see. Um, but I think that especially when you're working on a piece like this, it's really, really important to take your time, make sure you clean up because it's going to make things easier in the long run and you're going to have a product that you're a lot happier with at the end. I always say if it was built, it can be rebuilt and you know if I mess it up, I can fix it. Veneer, even if it's chipped, you can fill it with wood epoxy filler and then just color match it with some crayons. And yeah, woodworkers will be all weird about that, but honestly, it looks great. And why throw away a perfectly good piece of furniture when you can restore it? And then I found this gross thing. I don't know what in the world this was. I also found some like newspapers from the 1990s um, and catalog ads. So this baby has not been cleaned or, you know, handled nicely in a very, very long time. So I am going to have to clean this drawer out. This is one of those things that you kind of have to deal with when you are picking up like, you know, vintage furniture or thrift furniture or furniture off the side of the road. Speaking of furniture off the side of the road, when I was 20 to like 23 years old, I was only making like maybe 23 to $30,000 a year. And during that time, what I used to do was like, I would like troll neighborhoods and like look for free furniture and look on Craigslist and find pieces that were like solid wood, take them home and refinish them in my garage because it really supplemented my income in a way that it was like more sustainable to like, I don't know, turn on the lights. And to be honest, it has been almost a decade since I've taken on a full restoration project like this. So I'm kind of learning again, like in the thick of things.
And now that everything's clamped, we can chill out for 12 to 24 hours, depending on how much glue you used. So here is a finished one. This one I did last night. I let this one sit for 12 hours, very pumped to remove the clamps and hopefully not break my pendant light. I can't afford to replace it. Um, but this one was super easy. So pull off the clamps and the material, take the tape off. And then I went through um, with a dental tool from Harbor Freight. These um, were like three or four bucks and then just kind of clean off some of the extra glue because that's just going to happen. Obviously it'll come off with the stripper when I go to sand it and stuff, but this is just going to make it a, you know, better like finish. So I'm going to just do it this way. And I think it turned out perfect. I can't even see the seam lines and I had to hold Binks to tell him he's a good supervisor and he said I'm a terrible employee. So I put him down. Next, this one was um, sat for 24 hours because I had to use quite a lot more, more material. Obviously you can see there's so much more tape on this one because I had to use so much more glue. It was separating maybe a fourth of an inch, but nothing I can't repair. And after I finished going over it with the dental tool, it turned out really nice. Had to clean up this handle pretty good. I have like 10,000 years left on this project, so I hope you like and follow for this mini series, turning this Kent Coffney into my Kent Clark, the Henry Cavill of dressers.